वेलकम बैक टू ट्रेड विद बुक्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अ वेरी सिंपल वैल्यूएशन मॉडल दैट यू कैन यूज फॉर वैल्यू इन्वेस्टिंग आई हैव लर्न दिस मॉडल फ्रॉम अ बुक कॉल्ड वन अप ऑन वॉल स्ट्रीट बाय पीटर लिंच ही हैज एक्सप्लेन इन डिटेल एंड दिस इज अ मस्ट रीड बुक इफ यू आर वेरी सीरियस पार्टिसिपेंट्स ऑफ मार्केट दिस बुक वन अप ऑन वॉल स्ट्रीट यू कैन बाय ऑन अमेजॉन आई एम नॉट प्रमोटिंग दिस बट दिस इज टू बी बॉट दिस इज माई रिकमेंडेशन If you re- want to read in Hindi, that book is available in Hindi also, not in Marathi, not in Gujarati. He is a American guy, so you have to read this. And what is his formula? I am going to explain. Only three things he is using that e- future EPS growth, future how to predict future. I will tell you. Free websites are there. You can see where to see this future EPS growth, dividend yield, and P ratio. Then a number will come which will tell you whether the share is overvalued, fairly valued, undervalued. Video is finished. You can go back. just this much only i am going to explain you because the whole summary of the book is you have to see the valuation based on profit growth future profit growth the company which is uh, which is go- estimates are there for that company that next year this will be the future uh, eps earning per share growth number on that basis peter lynch actually value a stock what is the fair value of a stock so how to do it so for example i am taking tcs TCS Tata Communication Service ha huh, this current share price is 3657 now you have to get these three numbers the numbers are future eps growth like next year what will be the eps growth first number next number what is the dividend yield and third is what is the p ratio if you got this three number i am going to explain you free how you can see this numbers this is the simple formula future growth of eps plus dividend yield divide by p ratio and you will get a number you will get a number magic number this you can see in excel i have made this all three you can put in excel or you by calculator your child can do Im- immediately you give him this three number write as a plus b divided by c a b c your work is finished he can value all of the stocks all of the stock market stocks he can value you explain him this will be useful for him for lifetime this is a skill he will learn don't see stock market a two day game or one day game or 2020 game this is a test match where the uh, total period is some 30 35 years so learn like that that if you learn like that you will create wealth not just income so don't be in hurry try to learn everything and take out whatever value you are gaining from this video also and in general from anywhere so now you got a number then peter lynch sir says that if the number is less than 1 then the stock is overvalued now suppose eps growth projection is negative then also number will be less than 1 so sh- all shares where eps growth is negative that you should avoid for value investing then if the number is less than 1 it is overvalued if the number is between 1 to 1.5 the share is fairly valued if the number is more than 2 the share is undervalued so now if you want to know the price fair price of the share you can multiply this 0.45 to the share price 3657 so if you multiply this like this your number is coming 1654 so based on the estimates of next year next year's eps growth projection currently tcs is having a fair value of 1650 that's why share is also falling now when some big bear market comes or some fall like covid comes and share is available around 2500 2000 that is the time you to go and uh, accumulate the stock or currently if you find some stock which are below its value uh, this uh, fair value then you should accumulate that stock that is the value investing now somebody will ask me how come the share will go below the fair value of the stock when the fair value is 1650 or for some stock whatever how the value uh, stock will go down and why the stock is now up so for that i will take a example which mohanis pabrai our indian origin person a very good friend of warren buffett used to tell in his books dhando investor the book name is dhando investor and also in his many interviews that suppose you are sitting in a cinema theater movie theater 
and there some news comes that fire has broke in that theater and the rule is you can vacate your seat only when somebody is ready to buy it only when somebody is ready to buy it from you the seat how much price you will quote for your seat the price which is true value the price you have paid or anything you will tell anything you give and you take just you don't give and take my seat i am ready to give this is the thing happens when bear market comes when some news comes that some big companies coming in paint sector and the big giant of paint sector will not be that much profitable and this and that then that paint company will fall like anything because the retail investor and also some big players will panic and in panic they will sell at any price it may come below its value also value price also it may come like in covid in 70 rupees tata motor share was available why because people were panic so they were selling like it is in fire in cinema hall so they can sell you in any price but the person who knows that cinema theater has already arrangement for fire or this fire is not uh, actually fire this is just a smoke who has this knowledge will take the opportunity and buy that this, this that's why many shares will available below their value price okay now why the share prices are gone like now currently share price is 3657 whereas the fair value is 1654 so this happens because of speculation when high liquidity is there in the market people are speculating that share prices will go very high discounted cash flow and many things will come so people will project for future growth that it will come and because of that any um, if the company will miss a, a small amount in that estimation they are high estimation like zomato is estimated as 150% it will grow next year but suppose it grows only 100% that also is very big number 100% then also estimation it didn't met so share prices will collapse so when high expectation comes shares prices rose very high and uh, the number of buyers increases because people are in hope it is a bull market so people will go and buy crazily so share prices reached to 4500 because everybody was thinking now everything will go up only even in one of the my mutual fund i went their security guard was telling me sir nifty to hamesha upar hi jata hai okay i told in july i actually change my mutual fund in debt in july so he was telling why you are changing in debt debt fund nifty it was equity so equity will go high only sir why you are changing so i told okay i will meet you after 6 months so <laughs> in january also i met so like that everybody will start giving you advice so that is the time to exit and <laughs> that happens from 4500 share now again 3600 so we if you buy near to the value price any share this tcs was available in 2800 2900 in 2022 so when you buy near to fair value your margin of safety is there some margin of safety is there so always try to buy near to the fair price now where to check this three data freely so one website is there yahoo finance yahoo finance you have to come and you have to write the share name in summary itself you will see that number this first two numbers you will get that dividend yield 1.6% and p ratio ttm p ratio you will get now what about the third number future growth you have to come to analysis this analysis you have to click analysis when you come in downside one thing is there growth estimate this is the growth estimate growth estimate of tcs tcs growth estimate for next year if you see 10.69% is there and many more things are there in yahoo finance you can check out it is free website and uh, very useful you can use this you can start exploring this so this is how you can uh, judge what is the true value of a company based on the profit growth model there are many models discounted cash flow model is there which i will explain in future videos for for the time being this future uh, profit growth model also works very good so you can start using this and at least one thing you learn that the stock you are buying either for trading or swing trading or profit growth should be there 
you always try to find out the stocks where profit growths are there and also you check in yahoo finance whether in future profit growth is there or not whether in future also profit will grow or not that yahoo finance is uh, analysts are there many they are putting this data so just a rough number you will get whether in future earnings are expected to go down or up so always buy the stock which is uh, fundamentally strong fundamentally strong means profits are growing no matter you are taking with rs model relative strength model any trend line any higher high higher low but always see profit growth should be there and the second thing is p ratio should not be more than profit growth these two things only you see your stock market journey will be very easy all the best i'll see you in next video consider subscribing